David Cameron has said the government might not be able to protect spending on pensions, the NHS and defence in the long term if the UK leaves the EU. The Prime Minister said Brexit could cause a black hole in the public finances and threaten the triple lock guaranteeing state pension increases. He told Andrew Marr our economy would be smaller if the UK left the single market leading to difficult choices. Vote Leave said it was a frantic attempt to rescue a failing campaign. With less than a fortnight to go before the referendum on the UK's EU membership on June 23, other developments include on the penultimate weekend before the crunch vote, Mr Cameron has used a series of newspaper articles and a BBC interview to warn of the financial consequences of Brexit, saying it could put at risk ring-fenced future funding for public services. He said forecasts from the Institute for Fiscal Studies suggested Brexit could lead to a shortfall in the public finances of between pound 20 bn and pound 40 bn which would need to be filled, either by tax rises, extra borrowing or spending cuts. In their 2015 election manifesto, the Conservatives promised to extend the so-called triple lock on state pensions, a guarantee that they rise every year by at least 2.5%, or the rate of inflation or growth in earnings if it is higher, until 2020. While pensioner benefits were a policy priority and he was committed to honouring manifesto promises, the PM said pound 90 BN was spent on it every year and it was among many existing commitments that might have to be re-examined in a post-Brexit climate. Our pensions promise is based on a growing and succeeding economy, he said. All the experts, agree that if we leave the single market, if we cut ourselves off from the most important market, our economy would be smaller and that has consequences. We would be taking a risk with growth, with jobs, and with pensions. We shouldn't do that, it is the wrong choice. While he would carry out the people's instructions if they voted to leave on June 23, Mr Cameron said two years of exit negotiations would suck the energy out of the government and our country when we should be taking on the world and winning. And he declined to say whether, while remaining as Prime Minister after a leave vote, he would implement Vote Leave's plans for an Australian-style points-based immigration system and other proposals such as cuts to VAT on household energy. If we vote to leave, will I carry on as Prime Minister? Yes. Will I construct a government which includes all the talents of the Conservative Party? Yes. Do I think it is the right course for our country? No I don't. Meanwhile, Chancellor George Osborne said the armed forces could see their budgets slashed by pound 1 bn 1.5 bn a year telling The Sun on Sunday that Brexit would mean a new dose of austerity, more years of public spending cuts. He said, if we leave the European Union, Britain is smaller and so Britain's armed forces will be smaller and that means fewer planes and ships and personnel to defend us. But pro-Brexit ex-Cabinet Minister Ian Duncan Smith accused his party leader of a vindictive and desperate attempt to bully and frighten the British people. This is a baseless threat, he said. The truth is that these are policy choices and the Conservative Manifesto said that protecting pensioners was a priority. It is now apparent that there is nothing they will not use or jettison in their efforts to keep us in the European Union. Employment Minister and Leave campaigner Priti Patel told Five Lives Pioneers Politics it was an example of the politics of fear on steroids. And UKIP leader Nigel Farage suggested that voters did not take kindly to being threatened telling Andrew Marr that if the pound fell slightly after Brexit, so what? Since it was a floating currency and exports would benefit. People have had enough of being threatened by the Prime Minister and the Chancellor, he said. Worst instincts. Amid reports Remain wants Labour to take the lead over the next 10 days to shore up support among their supporters and undecided voters. Gordon Brown has said the opposition will put forward detailed proposals to help communities cope with high levels of immigration. It is time now for us to step our efforts up, the former Prime Minister told Dermot Murnaghan on Sky News. We have got to show people the positive benefits, that you are not voting for the status quo, you are not voting for insecurity. Meanwhile, the Archbishop of Canterbury has said he will be voting for the UK to remain in the EU adding that Britain should be a country for the world and warned against succumbing to our worst instincts over immigration. Writing in the Mail on Sunday, the head of the Church of England, the Most Rev Justin Welby, 
said he would vote to stay in the EU to avert economic damage that could harm the poorest. We each have to make up our own minds, he said. But for my part, based on what I have said and on what I have experienced, I shall vote to remain. 